Welcome to the Jazz Institute Darmstadt, a municipal institution documenting jazz history and the current developments in jazz. Housed in this building, a former hunting chalet from the early 18th century. Uh, we are in existence since 1990 and we will take you on a tour through the archive and tell you a little bit about what we do every day. This is the periodical archive, part of the archive. We have a lot of recordings, we have books, we have photographs, we have po uh, posters of concerts. The periodical archive is especially important because um, hardly uh, any archive actually collects periodicals from all around the world, from the 1920s to the present day, and it contains a lot of information about jazz and its uh, current developments. So, um, a lot of requests we get from researchers all over the world actually refers to this part of the archive. Um, our users are researchers, musicologists, students of music, uh, journalists, jazz fans, a lot of people who are interested, record companies for instance, who are interested in jazz history and any question is a good question. We are happy for emails or phone calls or however you want to contact us. Feel free. If you have a question, we will try to find the answer. Records, records, records from all over the world. Um, of course, Germany is well presented in our collection. We have more than 60,000 recordings in all different formats, uh, parts of them in this building. Then we have an annex in which we uh, keep other uh, uh, recordings stored. And it's material that is actually being used by users or by researchers again. Although nowadays, you, of course, you find a lot of the music on the internet. Still, this is the heart of the archive, the music itself. That's what it's all about. Jazz. Uh, these are the books. Um, a lot of books in many different languages. You see that we have a couple of Russian books as well. Uh, we were just searching for a Ukrainian uh, jazz history, but um, uh, I think that is still missing in our archive. Um, otherwise, you know, basically everything about any musician uh, you want will be here. Analytical studies, history studies, biographies, autobiographies, discographies, any kind of writings about the music. The Jazz Institute houses over 60,000 jazz photos from different eras and photographers. The focus is on the 1960s when Joachim Ernst Behrendt, whose collection is one of the basics of the Jazz Institute, had a close collaboration with many well-known photographers at that time. Furthermore, we often receive collections from contemporary photographers. Even jazz music that can be expised visually. That is why there has been a unique gallery in the Jazz Institute for over 
15 years, which is dedicated to the, to the subject of jazz in all its facets. Over 50 presentations with photos, paintings, sculptures, sound installation and much more have already been created. In order to capture the life of the jazz visually, we also have a large number of posters and films in which jazz is presented. Hi everybody, my name is Arndt Weidler. I am working here at the Jazz Institute as a uh, service uh, project manager and service manager for uh, our customers here and um, trying to, to promote all these concerts, events and workshops and other things we, we do, regularly do here at the Jazz Institute. So um, if anybody comes here to, to, who needs information or artists who need support, we try to promote them. Uh, try to help them um, bring their information, bring their words, bring their music abroad. And um, what, we regularly, what, what we regularly do is um, we promote concerts downstairs in, uh, at our keller, at our basement, our Mölbe keller. And um, we do have a workshop every other year. We, um, uh, we have the Darmstadt Jazz Forum every other year, which is a conference, uh, a symposia about certain subjects in jazz science and scholars and um, and we do uh, promote many other things like festivals and um, we try to, to promote the clubs that work here in Germany, try to, to um, improve their uh, the, the knowledge the knowledge of the um, of politicians and decision finders about jazz music here in Germany and um, well there are many things you can learn about jazz and uh, we can learn about jazz and we try to promote, in the first row, we try to promote the artists and the arts. Welcome to my office, full of books. I read them all, that's what I say. Um, one of the things that we do and that is important to our work is we try to network. So we try to make all of the information that is hidden in our archive available to everybody and we try to connect people who do research, musicians who um, work to better the, their, their situation, to, to improve their situation. Um, we try to connect them because we think that if you work together you're stronger and we need a, a strong jazz. You may know that um, jazz in Germany is well funded but by far not as uh, funded as much as, for instance, classical music. So we want musicians to have, uh, to be able to live by what they do, by their work. So we, um, uh, we, we argue for better wages, for better fees for musicians when they work in clubs, at festivals, etc. It's kind of a political work that we do there. We don't do that alone, that's where networking comes into place. We do that with a lot of partners, uh, musician partners, other institutional partners. The politics is our partner as well, so that is a major part of our work as well. Friday, almost every Friday we do have concerts in here, not only promoted by the Jazz Institute, 
but also by Initiative, uh, who is working here in Darmstadt, a jazz initiative, who is um, promoting concerts in here. Um, they have an excellent program, as we do, certainly, but they especially have a, have a very, very good program programming here, which was uh, uh, rewarded three times during the last years from, from the German government for their excellent programming, jazz programming. Um, we, as a jazz institute, do promote um, uh, almost almost six to eight concerts a year in a, in a regular series, which is called um, Jazz Talk. Um, it's a confrontation of, um, of musicians with an interviewer. Uh, Mandy Wolfram is the interviewer um, talking about the music and, and how musicians' life is and how, how, they, how they get to, to, um, to, to do their music, so um, basically. Uh, the room, the wonderful room and the, the excellent acoustics in here is used for, for rehearsals, for example, for, music, for, for musicians from, from Darmstadt area as well as sometimes for recordings, recording sessions for musicians because we have a wonderful Steinway which is hidden here and um, we have the acoustics is excellent in here so it's a, it's a wonderful a wonderful site for, for concerts too. Um, you're welcome to come here uh, to Darmstadt to the Jazz Institute and uh, you're welcome to visit one of our, our, our concerts here to, to um, to really enjoy this beautiful atmosphere we, we can have here when we can do concerts again. Thank you guys. Bye.